Hey, it's Daryl. Uh, what I'm going to do today is try and drive to Ohakuni. Uh, my plan is to go skiing tomorrow, so I'm going to drive up, start a place overnight, and then ski tomorrow, and maybe the next day if the weather's okay. Uh, so in this journey, I'm going to be driving, I don't know, 300 kilometers. I'm going to have to make a couple of stops to recharge and be very careful about what I do. So I'll talk to you a bit more when I make my first recharge stop. Okay, so my plan was to drive to Mangueta. I just plugged in at the fast charger. The idea was to top off my battery to 100%, but because of the battery being quite full, it was charging at such a low rate that it was gonna cost me like $20 uh, to buy a trivial amount of electricity, and it was gonna take an hour. So that was gonna be no use. I don't know if it was really an hour, but it just seemed to only increase by 1% in about five, six, seven minutes, so that was that was pointless. So it's saying 169 kilometers. I only managed to get like 2% charge there, so that was no use. I need to go 138 kilometers and it's hilly, so I just don't think that's gonna be a goer. So my new plan is to drive to Palmerston North and recharge in Palmerston North and then go across to Mangaweka. Uh, so I think that should work just fine. So I'll uh, talk to you again when I'm in Palmerston North. I'm gonna go and get a cup of coffee while the car charges because I decided that I had to go via Palmerston North because I didn't want to take the risk. It, it reckoned that I had 25 kilometers of range uh, in my prediction, but it's quite hilly, so I just didn't think it would be accurate. So, hence why I'm in Palmerston North. Thanks. Took like only about three minutes to get a cup of coffee, so I've still got whatever five or minutes of charging or something. So it's been about nine minutes that I've gone to get my coffee, and well, it's come up 20%. So we've got 10% more to go before we leave. And there we go, the system sent you a text message when it's charged. So that took 13 minutes, and I'm up to 80%. Ninety kilometers to the next charger, 141 kilometers, and I was on 80 percent, but I drove a kilometer or something, so it's gone down a little bit. Try a different camera angle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I don't know if that's a good camera angle or not. Might might work. So I'm at Sanson, and I've got 120 k's of range and 165 percent. So 65% and 120 kilometers of range. And what else? Um, the distance I have to go is 67 kilometers. So I've got almost 1% per kilometer. <laughs> so uh, it should be, it should be all right. Um, and this was with the 80% charge from uh, Palmerston North. So, and again, I just remind you, I'm in a 30 kilometer left. Suffering a little bit of range anxiety. Uh, I've got 9.4 kilometers to go, so this should be completely fine. It's seems that it's really where I am at the moment, so it's being a bit freakish. And then the other thing is, you have to play nice with the other traffic as well, because uh, like at the moment I'm being followed by a big truck and it goes slow up the hills, and I don't want to go as slow up the hills but I want to reach in on the downhills <laughs> and the truck wants to go faster on the downhills so it's kind of a weird game of cat and mouse. The orange like the end light came on. And just got a really steep hill just now. But it's only four kilometers to go and the range says 20 kilometers flashing so I think I'm 
totally fine. Totally fine. I'm not at all, not at all having any range anxiety. was at 8% so that was 80% down to 8% from Harmister North and I had to drive the last hilly bits at kind of slowish speed. Just got the text message to say that my car had completed charging so that's cool. Remember to close the little thing. I think that it's come up with a more estimate now as well. So there's, there's a charger. What I like about this charging place is there's a, <laughs> there's a sign which shows a car just like mine being recharged, which I think is fun. Please drive to highlighted route. So it's uh, 50 kilometers to a Wauru, so should be plenty of range there, so we'll see what it's like when I get there. One of the things with coming out of Mangaweka is the first thing that you have is uh, a giant hill when you're heading north, so it started at about 300 meters of altitude and I wonder what it will be at the top, but I, I kind of think you gain like easily 100 meters of altitude and just a couple of kilometers, so it's quite a, quite a draw. I'm already I'm already down two percent, and I've only gone like one kilometer. There we go. So again, I'm at fifty percent of the battery capacity and got seventy odd k, sixty nine k. So about half the battery is going to take you a hut. 120 kilometers in total so you can see that when you're driving in the hills and trying to maintain something like a highway speed even though I would be driving 80 kilometers per hour which is this much the you can see that you're not going to get um, as much range as what you would normally expect also I've been fast charging so the battery heat's coming up and I need one more fast charge as well what I've noticed is that the doing a couple of fast charges in a row brings up the battery heat and considering it's 5 degrees Celsius outside the battery temperature comes up so that's one of these things that's a bit weird. I, I wonder if I'm if I drive the car in the summer if if I try to drive from Wellington to Auckland say to go for a holiday or go away for a weekend or something whatever it is that people drive from Wellington to Auckland for well, rapidly fast charging, then fast charging, then fast charging, mean that the battery gets really, really hot and it actually limits your ability to, to travel anywhere. So, not really, not really sure about that. So, so far today I've done about 230 kilometers and I've done two fast charges. I've done 8% up to 80% and about 50%. Uh, maybe it was 45% up to 80% as well and I'm going to do another fast charge in 10 kilometers time which will probably look like about 40% up to 80% I might go to 90% because the place where I'm going to doesn't have any charges so I'll need my running around power and also because I'm intending to drive up the mountain if the roads open and not covered in snow I uh, want some um, range for that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask to see if I can just use a normal power outlet to recharge my car, but it's not necessarily gonna happen. So here's another place to charge your car by the cannon and by the tank and by the museum. Looks like the museum's being renovated. 
here's the charger here. So I'm going to do another video of plugging in the car. So I'm on 37% and put in 3 cents of power. I'm going to have a look and see if the cafe at the uh, museum is open. But if it's not, and you're here, if you go around down behind me, if you see the building with the yellow stripe in the background, there's a petrol station, and opposite there, there's um, another petrol station, and in that area, there's a couple of cafes and a bakery, and behind me as well, on the other side of the road, uh, where is it? Over there. Over there, there's a cafe called Angkor Wat, uh, which apparently has really good pies. Uh, if you're here on a freezing day, like today, where it's 5 degrees. It's been super rainy because uh, there's a bit of a flood here on the footpath. Um, and effectively there's a desert just 10 kilometers away. So, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty wet for this location. Ah, selfie with a cannon. I just started the charger again because I wanted to uh, go a little bit above 80% because, you know, I'm not certain whether I'll be able to recharge my car while I'm in Awakuni. So, because this is the only charger near Awakuni, I'd have to come back here to recharge my car if I can't charge it anywhere in Oakuni, so that would be a pain in the neck. I'm going to see if I can get to 90% or something. Yeah, so the place I'm going to is 29 kilometers away from here, and um, that means that I'll need 60 kilometers just to make the round trip to where I'm staying. And say I miraculously have 150 kilometers of actual range they'll only give me 100 kilometers of mucking around distance and I know that from where I'm staying to where the shops are is about 5 k's each way so I might have to go there and back a couple of times to go for some food or you know get something to eat or whatever and also going up the hill to the ski field that's like 15 k's, but it's up an amazing amount of hill, so if I can't plug in where I'm staying, it might be a bit of a pain, because I'll have to come back here to recharge. I'll have to come back here anyway, whether I go to Taupo or just go back home, because this is on the state highway where the intersection is with the turn off to Oakuni in any case. There's another charger in Turangi, and just for a change of scenery, I might be able to drive all the way around the mountain. Uh, if I can charge where I'm staying, but otherwise I'll technically have to come back to where to recharge. Okay everyone, so what happened is the charger disconnected me at 95%, so it cost me an extra $3.30 or something to go from 80% um, to 95%, but with 95% I'm pretty confident that I can uh, drive to where I'm staying and have some muck around distance. For 95% it thinks I'm going to get 150 kilometers, which is probably realistic at the highway driving speeds and driving in the cold and all that. See the battery um, heat gauge has come up moderately high. I think it's the highest I've ever seen it. Got 185 k's on the clock, which is more than I had when I left the charger, although I've got less percent now. Uh, so I'm just um, near the mountain, which you can't see from here. I am just stayed at this really awesome house. It's an awesome place to stay. Uh, it's very affordable. The mountain's just behind these apartments. Uh, so might get a view from somewhere else. There you go. It's a national park, so you're not allowed to take your dog in the national park. I'm at the bottom of the hill. I've got 83% and 180k range. And it's 270.6 kilometers on the clock. So I'm going to drive up the steep hill. I think that the ski field is at 1,600 metres and I'm currently at 608 metres. So heading into the Green Forest Park there. Okay, so uh, first drive up the mountain, here we go. About 
halfway up the mountain now and uh, battery's on 70% so I think I've used 12% to go 10 kilometers. Yeah. There we go, so that was a success. Uh, I burned 29% to get up the hill, uh, drove 17 kilometres, so that's quite shocking. It's like 2% per kilometre, something like that. But again, I'm at 1,620 metres, so uh, it's a it's a big it's a big mountain climb. There we go. I'm heading up the mountain on the chairlift. See if I'm up again. It's a bit icy and crunchy. Got here in the sand leaf. Worked out all right so far. There we go. So there's the mountain. And there's the ski field. This is only a small part of it, this is pretty huge, the ski field. There's a lot more ski field down there as well. There's not very many people here, as you can tell. Most of the chairs have nobody on them. And everyone's going down these valleys. It's just another really nice day up on the mountain. I might head right up the tippy top of the mountain, or do another run down here, and then head up, head up to the very highest uh, chairlift. Looks totally amazing down there today. Look at that. So the town is past the forest, past the big puffy grey cloud. I've driven right to the top of the hill. So here's two rower ski field. That's where you rent your skis and get your ski passes. And down here is where the learning area is. And there you go. So you can jump in your electric car, drive, drive from Wellington, go skiing for a day or two, and then drive home, no problems. So I'm at the top of the hill and I've got 53% and 66 kilometers range. 1640 meters, so 1640 meters altitude, and so I'm going to drop down a kilometer down to about 600 meters, and so I'm going to see if we get some epic regen. I used 28% of the battery to climb up one kilometer of altitude, and I think it was 17 or 18 kilometers of distance traveled. So here we are, 53% and 65Ks remaining. So I had a really great day uh, skiing, so I'm just going back down to uh, stay down in Oakuni. You can see uh, Mount Ruapehu here, and what else, Turo Ski Field, and everyone's driving down. Other people using fuel even though they're going downhill. I guess they won't be using much fuel going downhill, but uh, they use a lot going uphill. So there's the volcano. I went up to the very highest chairlift, which is, you can see the top building right in the center of the image there. So I'm at the bottom of the mountain now and got 62% and 134 kilometers. So that's a bit of a recovery in range. I'll, I'll do the calculation on that shortly. I think we're at, we were at 52 at the top, so got 10% back. 
So use 28% going uphill and got 10% back coming downhill. When I got to the top of the mountain I had 73%, so I started with uh, 99% uh, basically at the bottom of the hill, probably 98% to be honest, and it says 84 carries, but I'll probably regen 10% and have about 80, let's say 82%, 82% and it's frosty because look, sunny here but I uh, got to 78% battery and 169 kilometers to drive which is totally lies I think that 80% of the battery would only normally take me 140 kilometers so probably could reasonably do and I'm gonna be driving high speed so 120 kilometers probably more likely true so I'm gonna see how far it is to Turangi and properly recharge at Waiuru So the GPS thinks I can go to Turangi via National Parkway, but I kind of really want to go via fast chargers. There's charger at Turangi, but there's double charger at Wairu, so I think charging at Wairu makes more sense to me. It's only about nine minutes difference in driving time. Uh, it's like three, three kilometers. It's such a short difference in driving time. I think I should go via where there's more chargers. And we're at Waiuru with 52% and 84Ks on the thing and that probably wouldn't have been enough to get somewhere wherever it is that I was supposed to be going. There we go, I got the pie. Well, pie in charge. Wow, it's so sunny. Uh, so I'm at the National Army Museum in Waiuru. I'm charged to 86% at the moment and I have enough range to uh, drive to Tapo. I would expect. Uh, wouldn't have much problem getting 112 kilometers, I think it'll be fine. Um, if I'm not fine, there's a fast charger in Turangi on the way, so it's gonna be great. It's uh, 22 minutes to fill up about 45%. On the desert road, in the desert, on the desert road, and behind us is Mount Ropehu in the clouds. some expensive power. The lake's looking really great today. So I'm heading over the other side over there. Amazing.
so I'm sort of halfway between Turangi and Taupo and just stopped to have a look at the lake. The island and the lake is just over there. Looks really awesome today. And my awesome car. Oh, see, see shadow of iPad on car. In the car. Here we go. Oh, very sunny with the light coming off the lake. I'm in Taupo and I'm just charging my car over by the fire station behind me there and you can see up on the mountain is where I went skiing right across the other side of the lake. Just took a 10 minute walk along the waterfront and took photos of the volcano. I uh, wish I'd bought my camera with a longer range zoom. Seventy percent. Oh, that was pretty good. So, almost done. There you go. A Tesla turned up, and it's charging using the Chardemo uh, adapter. I'm just super, super excited because we just charged up, and I was about to back out of the uh, charging bay. And I noticed that the mileage on my car is one 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 one. So this is a Kia Soul EV. I actually think this car is really good. This is totally another great car to buy instead of a Leaf. There we go, there's a giant vase with steam coming out of it over there on the horizon. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, see? And here's some of our geothermal forests. I ended up just uh, taking a walk through each street uh, here in Rotorua. So it's like a, just a little street of cafes and restaurants and it's not very far from the lake across the park behind me. Here's a New Zealand thing, so in Rotorua here there's a lot of volcanic gas and so in this police car the whole the whole logo and, and, and everything is all corroded away. And the ugly plastic ones. I'm at the Topo Fast Charger recharging my car. Um, I think I got here with about 50%. I've been plugged in for 10 minutes or so. So probably in about, a, I'll go in about another 10 minutes. So I want to try and get a heap of charge so that I can work out if I can just drive straight through to Wairuru. So it's possible that I might be able to make the trip with just two stops. So just Wairuru and then to Mangaweka. Yeah, so there's a double charger in Wairuru, but Mangaweka to where I live is quite a long distance, but it's basically straight downhill all the way and flat. And also my mum and my brother live halfway in between. So if, if I do kind of look like I'm 
getting too short, I can plug it in that stop by my mum's place for dinner or something and recharge the car for uh, for an hour and that will get me to the fast charger 20k's from my house, something like that. I just recharged a Mangawika fast charger and it says 220 kilometers. It's probably because coming into Mangaweka there's a humongous downhill drive if you're coming from Wairu. Yeah, so it's got an unreasonable projection. Uh, so I, I charged to completely full and it just stopped at 95%. Um, and I think that the charge net ones do that because it starts just getting very expensive per minute, um, not really gaining much range. Another fun thing about Mangaweka is just beside the fast charger is this DC3. On the other side there's a cafe. I'm in Mangaweka now and I'm going to try and drive directly home. There's one more charger, fast charger between where I am and my house but it's only about 22 kilometers from my house so if I do end up getting very nearly at the end of charge I'll be able to stop, but if it's looking a bit marginal, about halfway through the drive, I'll have to go via Palmerston North or something, so we'll just see what happens. Um, so I'm at uh, Bulls, there's a BP petrol station in the rain, and some takeaway places, and no car charges, but I've got 63% and 145 kilometers left to run, which is quite miraculous. And so I think I can drive all the way home, which is really awesome because what have I got if I bring up my thing? The next fast charger is 77 kilometers away and I only live 20 kilometers further away than that. So if worse comes to worse, I can still charge at the next fast charger a little bit before I go home. Press the record button, turn off the window wiper. Um, looks like I have enough range to get home, so. I think I have enough range to get home, yay! I've decided to stop at my mum's house. I'm going to recharge, but I am about 25 kilometers from Otaki, and so I will be able to get to a fast charger if I just drive to the fast charger. I'll still have uh, 20 kilometers spare, and then I would be able to recharge and just go home. But I'm just going to stop in and have dinner with my mum right now, so I thought that would be nice. And I'm going to plug my car in for an hour or two as I have dinner and then I'll probably have enough um, range to get home. But if not I can still uh, recharge in Autoki like I plan to. So it looks pretty good. And it's turned into the thousand kilometer ski trip. Uh, you can see the bottom I've got there at 1032.5 kilometers. So more than a thousand kilometers on this trip because we ended up going to Rotorua which was fun. <laughs>